Hi, it's Esther again, and I'm back for another episode of Exploring Creativity. And this week, it's so exciting because um, Jason Gardner is with us, and he's a photographer, and he is allowing us to see inside a little bit of his photos and his book that he has. Anyway, for those of you, actually, here's Jason. Hey, everyone. There you go. Now, um, just so you know, if um, you're new to this, Exploring Creativity is when I take a little time to look more in depth into what is, uh, what is making us make the work we make, what is, the art makers, the creators, what they're, what they're doing. I generally talk about what uh, some of the decision making, some of the inspiration, and that's what we're gonna get from Jason too, something along those lines. He'll do it his way because he does his art his way. Um, and also, uh, let's see, let's take a moment to look at, here, he has, a, let's see, let's turn this around. You wanna go there? Yeah, we can go here. He has many prints to show us, but we also have a book of his. Actually move there so I can let's see. Sorry. Let's I'm a light I'm a expert. So yeah, this is photography. A flower in the mouth was the first book I published in 2013. Mm -hmm. And talking about creativity, it was a result of four different trips to Brazil to Recife in the northeast of Brazil. So the challenge is how do you integrate all these photos of this one festival carnival um, into a cohesive book? And uh, after these trips and after looking at it, editing it, I decided to create it um, not chronologically, but more in thematic order. So talking about Carnival as the festival is the first sort of layer of the inverted triangle, the most public part, and then the culture. I can actually I'll show you as I... Yeah, let's have a look at some of these images the while you're telling us. That. And then, you know, kind of Carnival, culture, mm -hmm. and then the ceremony behind it. Mm -hmm. And I can show some prints after this um, of how I did that. Actually, can we, we could just bring it down yeah, 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 here yeah, yeah. Sure. and make it steady. Maybe, and then, um, why don't you tell me about it and I'll just do some flipping. Yeah. Oh, can you okay. tell me sure. all sure, about, sure. like, can I, I just randomly flip yeah. some stuff? Well, the Carnival in this area is yeah. very go uh, ethnographic and authentic. And it had, it's an area that had not been discovered so much by tourism in the past. And this book is a result of four different trips to the northeast of Brazil. And the carnival here is not this hedonistic sort of um, commercial situation. It's really a, a, a process where I discovered where they talk about their culture and their identity and then renewal, and they do it every year. And it is a big party, and it's a chance to see everyone and uh, both friends and family in the community. But it's also a chance to show off how beautiful you can be, to show off your best music, and to show off how you can really integrate into the characters that illuminate the streets, both in the city and the country. This is a country carnival right there. So the way I structured the book was kind of carnival, and then the, the sort of the culture that's underneath it, and this is like this one type of culture of, there's a black face, but it's not, it's not um, racial, it's more like to show that they're workers and, and all that stuff, and um, to give you an idea of so, it's crazy carnival costumes. And, you know, the real question that we're always asking, and I've, I've asked everyone, is why do you do this? Um, you know, why do you put all this time and effort into creating these costumes? And none of these costumes are store-bought. They're all, like, made from hand. And so incredible. they ask, well, we do it because we like it, but we do it for identity. We do it to show who we are. We do it to be the most beautiful. There's, there were some in the back that were incredible. Look at wait a minute. They've got dolls in here. Those how dolls how like long the, would you how long did you spend doing this? Uh, each trip was about a month mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of this was photographed right before the carnival, the preparations and the time up till the carnival. You know, in Mardi Gras in New Orleans, which is a corollary of that, mm -hmm. everyone thinks Mardi Gras is one day, but it's really four days and it's really since the beginning of January. So it's a month or two celebration. Mm-hmm. So each trip was about a month, and I did about four trips to photograph, and five or six to number five and six to do some introductory meetings. So yeah, about a total of six months in the region. Wow, that's a significant amount of time, and it seems like you got right, like you're in here, you're in this like social club, 
get like yeah, this is into a religious, it. this is a religious ceremony actually. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I got into it is because as I kept returning, you know, a lot of photographers go to a carnival and they take the photos for a few days and they disappear. But mm -hmm. I returned year after year. And as I showed some photos that I had shot, some people said, oh, this is good, but I can show you something else. Uh, you don't have uh, something in there and let me show you a different aspect. And I, I gained a little bit of trust and access to these sort of ceremonies that were, sometimes when I showed these photos to people in other regions of, of the city, they're like, I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is. But you know, I, I built a level of trust of people wanting to, to show me their most intimate ceremonies to have that part of this document of what is carnival. That's, that's a pretty intense. Um, yeah, for example, yeah, let's uh, see. I think, um, let me see, ceremonies, that's like more, yeah. For example, here, you know, mm -hmm. this is a, like the outlay of the pipes, but they're, they're doing a hug, and here if you see that he's smoking the pipe backwards, outward, and that's what he does to receive the spirit. The same thing with tobacco theme happens, oops, not that way, um, here, no, not here, there. So this is actually a man dressed as a woman, and I have a larger print of that we can show there, but he smokes it in the backstage to receive this sort of spirit, and it's very gender bending because here on the left uh, side, this is a, a woman dressed as a man. So this is a, illustrates the theme of sort of transformation inversion um, and in carnival and all the carnivals I've seen which I'll show you later mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of this sort of suspension of the rules you know the poor people can become kings and queens for a day um, you can dress up like anything you can make fun of your neighbor of your boss you know that kind of thing and it's okay all the rules go away so that that's kind of like a rebellious nature of carnival but that does um to come back to him smoking, what is he smoking? That's just regular tobacco, but that okay. it's not anything, no drugs really, but it's just, it gets him but in the mood to him, receive the spirit. Yep. Like, I want that cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing, but holy mackerel. So that's some of the book, and that's available on my site, jasongardner.net. Oh, yes. yes, the book is Season, on the site. Name, Jason Gardner and .net. <laughs> there you go. And I can show you a couple of prints, because I have the fine art practice of exhibiting the work. Um, okay. Which kind of might, Let's um, look at some of your prints. Yeah, some of the prints from the from the book series. Okay, tell us about For example, what's happening it here. I think it's probably better if it's down sure. and then it's solid and yep, the light agreed. is steady. Um, and so I will is, not uh, block the light. This is old Recife, and this is uh, at the height of the carnival. Old um, Recife is an area in Brazil, a town in Brazil. Yeah, or? Recife is the main city of Pernambuco, which is the state. Okay. And Old Recife is the kind of like the old town. And um, a lot of people think that this is photoshopped in, but it's not. It's just hanging flat art um, to provide a kind of a serious, a feeling of surrealness and suspension of time. It is amazing how flat it is. Yeah. It does, but then you see the lighting coming around it. I'm just going to move to the next people. part here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Go at your rhythm. A flower in the mouth. Yeah, and this is, is again some cross-gendering that mustache and, with the pink. Yeah, and I mean, it's also like an anti-carnival. Like he's he's happy to be a carnival-esque, but it's a very difficult thing. He's weighing, he has thirty kilograms of, of brass bells on him, and he puts the flower in his mouth to get him in the mood to go and do this carnival for days and days and days. Oh my goodness, he has thirty kilo of brass bells on in the middle of the brazilian summer for four days straight in the brazilian summer yeah. for four days straight that uh, but that's part of why wow. I, that's part of why i titled the book a flower in the mouth because it's the beauty and the oh burden. a flower in the mouth okay yes. okay the, the beauty and the burden of carnival it's kind of like they do these beautiful things but they have to work all year to prepare to get the ready. physical and mental endurance for sure Oh, Elton John. Yeah. This is actually... What is happening? Yeah, There's so many things happening. It's, it's a character, it's a Brazilian soap opera character called Zé Bonatinho, which yeah. is just the Zé meaning the, uh, a name, and Bonatinho like the most beautiful. And this guy dresses like this character a different iteration every year. 
and he's just fabulous. But there's yeah, something about the hair you know I'm sure he's just a rooster. Yeah, I'm sure he's just a regular guy. Wait, but when he up on that during Carnival he becomes something else. He's something extraordinary. Beautiful. Yeah. And also this is a sense of you know it's kind of macho in Brazil is very machismo, but there's also this sense of beauty. You know. Beauty is it's a macho much macho beauty. It can be. Okay, that's interesting. I would want to explore that for like. 25 minutes. I think on <laughs> the on. macho beauty. But to, to me, that, that image is a lot of the inversion of, of these things. Flipping the macho beauty there. Yeah, this is also <laughs> very trance. So this is called a shagada, Tr which means... Trance. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, um, Wait minute, it's if, the dance that they if, do. If you can hear him well enough, send hearts, because it's so interesting what we're hearing. <laughs> Please. It's something that they do when they... It's the introductory dance to when they, when they kind of arrive for carnival on the streets. And this okay. is just a one bend, one shot of a bend that he did. And I could just love it because he's had this huge, heavy feather dress. And you can see the onlookers, but he's just totally in the zone. I'm going to move on, but yay. And more towards the, um, more towards the idea of ceremony. This is a limpeza, a cleaning ceremony. So they write the names of, this is the, I'm sorry, this is a ceremony that they do before carnival to become pure, to clean. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't do carnival if they don't do the, the limpeza ceremony. And this ceremony is probably like six or eight hours where they take chickens and they kill the chickens and blood and all this stuff. But what they do here is they write the names of the relatives that they want the gods to look over. Mm -hmm. And then they break the, the, the eggs and they offer them. All right. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Okay, well, I have a question yes, for you. Yes, of course. Why did you choose to go to Brazil to photograph the Carnival? What, right. when, what was the trigger so was that made shooting, that happen? Yeah, so as I was shooting my career commercially, I, I yeah, sure. Okay. As I was shooting for my career commercially, um, I started shooting a lot of musicians in New York. Mm -hmm. And because that's my first love, music and culture. That's mm -hmm. all that I love to, to photograph. Mm -hmm. And... Um, as I was shooting more and more musicians and getting to be bigger ones like Bob Dylan and Isaac Hayes and all this stuff, art directors, as I showed them my work, they said, that's great, but we want to see a body of personal work. I wanted to create a body of personal work. And I first thought, okay, I'll go to Brazil and shoot some traditional musicians. And I'd never been to Brazil before. And I did a lot of research in advance and started talking to Brazilian musicians and started talking to ethnographers, ethnomusicographers. Mm -hmm. um, and they said, yeah, you should go to Recife because it's less known than Salvador, Bahia, or Rio, or like the big places in Brazil. And I said, okay, I'll go. And they said, if you go, they'll look up this one person. And, and I had about 10 people to look up. Oh, and the first good. time I went, I was literally just going to just shoot some musicians and see what happened. I went kind of off season in October, uh, September, October. And uh, because I had a few contacts and it was a small scene, that led to other contacts, led to other contacts straight away. And like sort of initially I met a good amount of people and I sort of focused on two or three groups. And I did some work with them and shooting their preparations and their practices and their running the streets, but not a lot was happening. And they said, mm -hmm. yeah, if you want a lot happening, you gotta come back for carnival. Mm -hmm. and I went one carnival and I shot like crazy for a month. Which is what, Feb when is January, it? February, February. January, February. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. usually February. So did you go directly three months later? Yeah, I went, yeah. Three like months. they said, you should come for Carnival, and you said, here's my ticket. I'm coming. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Brilliant, and, brilliant. Um, then I kind of dove into it, and I realized that I'd only scratched the surface, mm -hmm. and I came back the next year. Mm -hmm. But because I'd done some parts of Carnival, you can't shoot everything. It all happened simultaneously over four days, and really over a month and a half. Um, I was shot other things, and then I started getting assignments because... You know, people knew that I that I'd shot Carnival and knew that very well. Assignments and meaning from magazines, magazines, from mm -hmm. nonprofits, from you know, all, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. And not a lot, but enough to kind of fund it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, so as I kept on shooting and, and coming back, people invited me to their sort of private ceremonies, as I'd mentioned before. And I went deeper and deeper and deeper in one place, and that's what made the work interesting. Wow. So why yeah. did I go to Brazil? It was originally for music. I got into Carnival. Yeah. I kept on going deeper and deeper into Carnival. Yeah. Yeah. And then after I want to see your hands time, while you're telling. A book. Yeah. You know, so then I started, I continued to do like more like writing and articles and research hmm. on what it is and what the significance was. And then it became a little bit more anthropological mm -hmm. you know, in, in scope. 
Ah, right, 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 right. Visual Anthropology, mm -hmm. which is kind of the name of my press, Visual Anthropology. Yes, press. yes. Uh, note here, the book is through Visual Anthropology Press. Brilliant name uh, for, um, where is it? It's on the oh, first page. The Visual cover. Anthropology, it's, it's, it's what you call your published yeah, press? Yeah, it's my, it's my yeah. maison d'édition. I don't know if I'm getting it right, but uh, visual anthropology. Yeah. To all you photographers out there. And that became my larger brilliant. of like, what am I shooting here? Just to finish that uh, yeah. this set of prints. Yeah. Uh, this is that. Oh, uh, yeah. The cigarette really can stood see out. Wait, well, let's get a bit of that cleavage where the cigarettes are. Yeah, send the hearts. My God, it's incredible. The, the chain of events. Ay, ay, ay. To make these beautiful images, to get in it. Wait a minute. Now this person right here, for mm -hmm. example, how did you take that picture of them right in their face? I have been, Do you already know that person? This is one of the ceremonies that I was invited to by one of the members of this group, not by this person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been there for hours just photographing everything because, mm -hmm. you know, I said, oh, I can. I'm, a, you know, I'm an American photographer coming to learn to go deep, deep, deep into your culture. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, welcome. You're coming with this person from our group. Come. And I was very respectful. You have to dress a certain way, only white, because that's clean. You can't wear any dark colors or any mm -hmm. red colors. And each month is a certain um, different Odisha that they're honoring. So you Odisha. Have to ask them. Odisha is the god. Like okay. Ishu or Ogun, it's similar to the to Haitian or voodoo. Okay, it's a expensive. god of what religion? Yes. Depends. How okay. Or or uh, Iresha, or any three or four different types, strains uh -huh. of, you know, African mixed with indigenous. It's all syncretism. So, like, you know, to some extent, at Carnival, uh -huh. um, uh, when the slaves came, when the slaves were brought to Brazil, they were not permitted to practice their religion, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes, some eras. Right. But during Carnival, they, they sort of said they converted to, you know, St. George, yeah. St. Juan. But it was really Ogun, you know. Okay, I mean, it's okay. A whole thing. It's a whole thing. All right. But the point is with this was that with the with the um, the cigarette guy, the woman, was that Wait, how it, did you photograph it's it? A, a it's a man dressed as a woman. Yeah. Mm. Um, a uh, Which is it's how pride month. They perfect. allowed me free reign after they saw that I was cool. You know, they yeah. saw that I was kind of respecting and, and smiling a lot, and you know, that just takes time to mm. develop. Mm. The okay, so but that oh, person was totally aware that you were taking their picture. Yeah, and it was cool. I mean, with you it. know, he was in a zone too. He was not. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. magical Brazilian cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. And the last one of the of the sort of. Oh, series. Look at her. This is in a tejero, which is a, a temple, uh, and this is a lot of uh, a good example of like me showing this work, and they said, "Oh yeah." come and meet me on Saturday and I'll show you something else. And I didn't know what it was, but we walked 45 minutes in the favela and they said, you can't go yourself. Like, it's not that you're not, it's not that you can't figure out where to go, but you're, it's dangerous for you. You shouldn't go yeah. by yourself. But with me, you're fine. And so we and went to this room. who was the me? Another guy of, of this group, separate group. Okay. Who said, I want to show you. You know, you okay. make these connections They were just sharing yeah, yeah, their yeah. Well, they want the photos too. I, well, I also, sh I, the way I collaborate with all groups is I give them the photos that I take. Oh, you know, nice. Later on, nice. on a disc or a thumb drive or whatever. Yeah. So they yeah. can use it for their, you know. Yeah, they have a way. Of, like, it's yeah. a, it's like, so it's like, my way uh, of giving back. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, it's, the anthropo it's recording a language. It's recording a culture. Yeah, but like, or if they need that, it for their social media or sometimes yeah. they need it to, to make a proposal for the, the local mm, city council yeah. to get some grants, you know, that kind of thing. What's well, archiving? Yeah. Wait, let's go in close a little bit. Let's look at her closer a little bit, if you don't mind. Ooh. Okay, that go up. Now, unfortunately, you at home who are looking at these don't see how incredibly beautifully printed they are. Inkjet printed, it is fantastic to yeah, view the, these. The colors are nicely saturated. Yeah. So if anybody's interested in having one of these live in their home, I highly recommend it. It, even though you think you're seeing it as amazing as it is, you're not really seeing it as amazing as it is. They can live with you. Oh, and so much energy and vibrant. So, um, so this book, 
was published in 2013, and in the next year or two, I did kind of a book tour of my own, in which I exhibited this in Lincoln Center, because one of the groups that was published here, um, they did their first ever US tour, which started in Lincoln Center in New York, and the director knew me, so he invited me for a solo exhibit, and I launched my book there, and then it was New Orleans Jazz Fest, and the Toronto Brazilian Fest, because at the time, Brazil was very big in the world stage. It was the World Cup, you know, it was the Olympic Games, economically they were big. So I was lucky, and it was just pure luck, that Brazil was coming up on that, and that would push me to get this book out. Fast forward a couple of years later, and I was saying, okay, how am I gonna continue on that, that project? The years that I didn't go to Brazil, in and around the, the eight years I went, you know, or four trips, I um, started exploring other carnivals in my area in New York. So I went to New Orleans, I went to the Cajun country in Louisiana, I went to Trinidad, I went to some other Caribbean destinations kind of on a quick flight, and I started to see some similarities but when I moved to Europe, when I moved to Paris in 2016, that's when I started exploring carnival in Europe and in West Africa, I might add. So the second project, I'm going to take you over here. Okay. Well, actually, can you come over here because the light is good? Yeah, I can do that. And there's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Which I hope you don't mind if the cat gets in your line. Is that... A, I just feel like the light here is better yeah, for... First, first, first. I have no doubt you're very sympathetic. Look at, I don't know, that's a bit gray over there. Look at, oh my gosh. Okay, so these so, are, wait a minute, there's stuff in Bulgaria, isn't there? Yeah, it's coming. Okay, good, yeah. because I have a Bulgarian photographer who's on here watching as we speak. There's Ivana, the she shows up. Y'all will have and to so, meet each other. Uh, over time, I, I started collaborating with ethnographers here in, in Europe to sort of give me access to some of the very traditional carnival celebrations. And I don't mean Nice, which is traditional, but it's very big. I go to carnival celebrations that are smaller here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is from Slovenia. And this, uh, okay. you know, carnival here is a, much more about identity as well as the change of season. So this is a lot about springtime. This is um, uh, the Orachi, O-R-A-C, Sedilla I. And um, it's in one little town in Slovenia. And uh, this one I chose to abstract him out because I love the, the color combination of this yellow and his yellow. What do you mean abstract him out? Um, to not put it in with the environment in the background. A lot of them have that. This is just against a wall. He is against a wall. Yeah. You asked him to be against a wall? Or yeah, you in that way. Shot I, what it? I, my, my method is to go to the festival to not make a separate shoot mm -hmm. and then you know, make portraits and reportage. Mm -hmm. of, so be behind every portrait is me following around for days, you know, until we get to a certain spot. All right, so you're like a hunter. <laughs> you just so. wait for the shot. I guess so, or, or you ask them So before. this person, like you would have been seeing this person regularly or other people like him or? Yeah, there's a, maybe there's a day where they, in this case, they go from village to village, from house to house, mm -hmm. and they do a certain ritual dance and they, and they, ask for eggs and they bring flowers it's all in the oh, this is the springtime spring. yeah, yeah this is, they the did that in Prague too yeah. do they get whiskey or they get no they get drinks oh too. they did get they get drinks they get yeah, alcohol yeah, from yeah. the women right. and, and then they, they whip and... they whip the women and the woman gives them drinks they don't do that there but they, uh, they do, do that in the Czech Republic or they did do it in Czechoslovakia this is Sardinia this is wow. um, in the mountains of Sardinia and so this is definitely pre-Christian. It's very pagan. It's like years, <laughs> that years, looks kind of pre-Christian there. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's animus. Um, it, this, it's the sheep. Animus. With, yeah, it's the sheep of the brebi. And these wow. masks are like the, the fates, you know, the Greek fates. Do you need someone to um, help you carry your stuff next time <laughs> you go? <laughs> I'm in. I'm going. Yeah, and really after cool. that, we have to go to Crete and find the yeah, woman. Crete's got a lot of carnival, for sure. Crete has some incredible stuff going on. I need to know more so about So in general, like the three themes that I'm seeing here that will be in my book is um, roots. Ooh, wait, you're speaking. Roots? Yeah, it's like roots. The roots of like, why, again, why do people do this carnival, right? It's yeah. to honor their roots. And the rites, R-I-T-E-S, so that honoring the circular nature of the year-long cycle. Uh-huh. And then rebels. So people are a little bit rebellious when they do carnival. It's against the rules. It's, you know, the, the, all, all time is suspended. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we do make up these rules. God knows why we made up some of these rules that we made up. So thank God there's people out there, like this Ewok, who are doing something about it. Wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. You said Sardinia. I just need to know what time of year this was. This is during the carnival time. Yeah, that's, so that's this February? Is, yeah, this is January. Okay, because it could be kind of hot in Sardinia. Uh, yes, it can be, but but in January, it's in the mountains and it's cold. They okay. They do this first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I believe you. This is, Those are incredible um, clothes. This is um, the wow. Skeleton Bride, and it's in New Orleans. It's Mardi Gras. Okay. It seems like Day of the Dead, but... So there's definitely a lot of skeletons and uh, a death um, theme here. Because that's part of the cycle. Yeah, but, but it's death me in is, a different way than yeah, a lot of people look at it. This or that we know in this. like um, a classic example of, you know, I'm going along the street, there's a million characters around, and this one speaks to me, and I say, please can okay. take a photo, please. Well, you asked her if you could take her yeah, photo. Yeah, of course. Okay. I and, actually and didn't this, say can I, I said I must. And this, I'm guessing gentleman from the ha arm hair, you, you asked him if you could take his of photo? Of course, no, no, this he is... He posed so, so well. Yeah. well He's yeah, so... Straightforward. Okay, so everything is where you ask someone. No, this one wasn't. He happened to be where he was. Just happened to be where he was. Yeah, this is right. in Cajun country. So this is called a career in French. In Cajun. Cajun in in New Louisiana. In Louisiana. Yeah. Okay. It's about three or four hours from New Orleans in the prairie, in Cajun prairie, and this is the career, which means running of the chickens. So, in, <laughs> traditionally during running winter time, there's not a lot of food, not a lot of refrigeration. And so you chase the chicken, and he who catches it gets to throw it in the gumbo for the whole community. He who catches it gets to throw yeah, it in the gumbo for the whole right. community. Right. Now, in the modern times, they the, make the gumbo the before. The treat. But that's the thing. Yeah. That's part the big of the ritual. treat. That's yeah. amazing. Chicken man. Yeah. And I like to put these together because... Oh, God, because this guy. Who's he? I don't want to know about him. If you look the so two bad. together, look at it. It's like, oh, yes. It's like green, snow, chicken... Shield. This is, he seems like a, like a raver, this guy, but he's a very serious carnival guy in Austria. He's, is he Austrian? Yes. This is a carnival that happens in the mountains of Austria once every four years. So they, if you think about it, they gather all of their energy, all of their stuff into, into creating this event for mm -hmm. four years. Every four years. Oh, so it's, okay. So, so they look forward to it for four years. Yeah, so that, like so to, he's yeah, like, I'll do whatever for he's me, like, me Carnival is a lot about identity. For me, this says tribe. Yeah. Like he, he's a member of the tribe. Yeah. It also says really good head ponytail. <laughs> and I want that outfit. Look at it. Wait, we need to for, see his really for, good Austrian for, boots, though. Yeah, for sure, in the snow. Look at that. Beautiful. And the mist coming off. And so, you know, to some extent, you create a nice photo. This is during a carnival in Portugal, okay. and I love it because it, uh, of this jawbone there, but I also love it because, and he's from a small town, because most people think of carnival of like beautiful, ostentatious costumes, but this costume is a burlap sack. Yeah. So it's sort of the antithesis of, of sort of, it's the a-stereotypical carnival costume. And it's super yeah. traditional. although it looks... I mean, it, I, it is burlap. There's no doubt about it. But it's almost got that nice linen look to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of styling. I, love I don't it. know. I mean, it, I, I could, he has I a could lot work of, with those yeah, two. He has a lot of tassels, but outfits. it's a very stripped down. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, what, what, how the hell did he happen to have a spare dinosaur skull lying no, around? It's his... a traditional costume of that village. No, but it, the, the head, the, yeah, it's been the in, skull. It's been there for a long time. But they have, it is a dinosaur head. I don't think so. Then what is it? I, I, I think it's just a big bull. I mean, that's or a bigger big... than a bull or a cow. Yeah, I'm not sure what it? it is, actually. I didn't ask him. But this Do you think it's a bull? I love it. I mean, how many people have a spare dinosaur head? Don't know. Mm. And this is in Greece. Um, in the north of Greece. And then Holy drama. mackerel. That is yeah, not so... what I, I would have said Iceland. No, I know. And this is for the early January celebration. So a lot of... A carnival, traditional carnival, happens in the New Year time, because that's the time of. Does that carnival. happen every year? Yes. In the north of Greece. Uh, in the north of Greece, in, okay. in, in, in an area called Drama, which is about an hour or two from Thessaloniki. Okay. I think they say Thessaloniki. You could be right. Well, we went there a couple of years ago, and I mispronounced it a lot. This is back in Austria. 
Oh, that's just a head. It's a wilder man. That is yeah. one head. Yeah, that's one guy's head. Wait a minute. It he's looks a moss man. He's moss. Wood. Oh, it's, it's made the of moss? The head is moss, but his, his whole thing is all moss. Wait, the head, the face is wood. Yeah, the face is wood. So the is it a is sculpture? Wood. It's a mask. So yeah. there's actually a person yeah, in yeah. there. What about the white? That's his mustache. This is actual mustache? No, or no, it's, it's, it's a mask mustache. Okay, it's a mask mustache. Okay, wait a minute. Let's, let's go in a little bit. This is beautiful. How did you get him in front of that green That's similar wall. to the first one where you look and you, you pick your backgrounds. Meaning you said stop. No, I was, no. Yeah, I was following with them. You and, just and fought, you, you hunted him. Yeah. They're difficult because they, everyone wants photos of them. Wait, everybody wants... What yeah, do you mean? They're, they're Who's super everybody? amazing. Uh, every, every onlooker, every person, every... You know. Oh, so he's got like a paparazzi around him. Not quite, but... But, yeah, because it's a real, like, yes, there's the is. crack in the and wall. he's the king, and he's the lion. I wish I was not looking at it through the screen. <laughs> I just want to admire. <laughs> the, the subtleties, I mean, just for the subtleties of the green, these light greens together, holy heck. It's just gorgeous. So my whole thing is that it, this carnival <laughs> time is not really just a party time. It's, you know, the, the characters are all, all represent something, and they represent culture and work. And mm -hmm. I love him. This is a group I was following in Slovenia, and it's just fabulous. It's just amazing. This is, a, this is the Baba. So it's the old woman. That's the character. Right? Yeah. Baba. Uh, I've heard of the Baba. Yeah. yeah. The Babas. They're scary. You're yeah. scared of the well, Baba. Well, not those kind of Babas, but this okay. Baba is just like... Um, you know, he's dressed yeah. up as the old woman. Well, like the babu, the babu, babishka. <laughs> babushka, the, right. Babushka and the babichka. And the, but I love the eyes and everything. That's for me one of my favorites. Babushka, babushka. And then oh. this is from Bulgaria. So, oh, Bulgaria. Yeah, like, of, give us some heart for the Bulgaria. Yeah, in the mountains of, um, yeah. of uh, a small town about an hour from Sofia. Um, they've been doing this for a long time. It's very pagan and pre-ritual, pre ritual pre Christian, excuse me. But I show this photo because, and I, I rarely do photos when they're unmasked, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I added this because in Bulgaria, they're finally becoming fine with having women mask. So usually the role is only for men. Oh, okay, okay. Our Bulgarian photograph photographer has voiced in with a she said Kukuri. Kukuri. Yep. Kukuri. Yep. What is, what is that? That's the name of this character. That's the oh, name of these. Okay. Oh, it's like an anime character. Yeah. But it's the Bulgarian anime character. Yeah, Kukuri. The Bulgarian, it's Kukuri and Suravakari. Suravakari. Okay. Yeah, two names of, of a similar okay. spirit. Okay. Let's, let's do. I like some of the, the, the details. Well, the bells are important because yeah. noise brings in the spirits okay. and keeps out the bad spirits. And it rings in the new year when people say ringing in the new year. It's yeah. similar. Oh, literally, you're ringing it in. Okay. Yeah. And she's got that incredible um, stick. Key. Yeah. Wow. But this is like Road Warrior stuff also. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Look at that. And then light mask. fires and, you know, it goes out, goes all through the night. But it's a snow carnival. People, a lot of people in the States especially, but everyone... They think of Carnival primarily as a summer situation. Yeah. Because they, they see Brazil yeah. and they see Rio. And, and bikinis. Yeah. And but um, there's a whole other side to it. Wow. I so feel so next, inspired. So I did a book, and th these are the, the, the prints from, from the second series of, of Carnival Around the World, of which there are many, mm -hmm. many, many. Mm -hmm. But I could show you for a second, just so you get an idea, I'm laying out currently book number two. Okay. Which is Carnival Hey, Around let's go Carnival. see the layout for book number two. That means we get to go through the house with all the amazing art he's got up on the walls. Here, let's give a shout out to Eric, because we wouldn't be here without Eric. Sorry, I can't help it. And I also love his work. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Okay. Go quickly, discreetly. Here we are. And we are going to look behind the scenes on where it's going. Where we're, where we're, I'm going to stay right behind you. Hey. Oh, I hope you're still there. We're still live. We're still live. I hope you're still there. If you're not there, you're missing out. Okay, here, let's hey again. come in. Come in. Oh, yes. Just for another second, I can show you some of the. Take your time. There's no rush. Yeah. There's no rush. I'm showing the more overall view of it. Okay, this is an overall 
So like some images you may recognize, like here. Let me see if I can, can I do this? No, can I? Good. Remember, strong voice, strong voice. Yes, I'm opening up for you. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see the pink guy. I love that pink guy, who's a girl. Oh my God, um, all a, of them. It's a, it's a girl, yeah. That's one of the Mardi Gras Indians of uh, New Orleans. So what they do is they, they're African Americans in New Orleans, but they're recognizing and valorizing the Native Americans in the 1800s who helped escape oh. slaves. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, because there's a little bit. I didn't yeah, so see. This it. Is I'm the, always looking at the face. This is there's the part of New doll. Orleans. This is the part of New Orleans Mardi Gras that is not touristic. That's not Bourbon Street. It never goes to Bourbon Street, and it's it's the African American part, and it's been recently uh, brought to light by shows like Treme on HBO and some other stuff. But mm -hmm. in general, it's uh, Treme on HBO is yeah. the behind the scenes carnival. Okay. No, that's that's no. only about the New Orleans Mardi Gras Indians. Oh, okay. But anyway, let's see if I can show you really quickly, just to give well, this you is a, really a quick behind preview. The, this is very brave how... of you showing yeah, all this no loot. Really... It's loot. It's loot. Yeah. You're showing us your loot. Yeah, and I do like some stuff like the money. When, I show, when I show things like the environment. Uh, that speaks to me. I'm, yeah, I'm, the that's right up my aesthetic alley. This is also Austria. I love him. Look at him with his little cigarette and his ridiculous hat. <laughs> it's <laughs> like... So let me oh see. Oh my God. I think I can maybe... So in there I show some more. Let's see if this is from West Africa show that and and this one left one's from west okay. africa all right, right? Oh, that's this from is Guinea like Bissau. isaac julian or julian isaac do you know him but the right one no the right one is from oh bulgaria oh yeah so to me see like seeing these cross border um resonances are pretty interesting okay let's pull back because that's what's so in that's a, so interesting you're right i can't wait to see these in big print so look at wait, wait let's look at him. I'll what's that? Back. Who him? The, oh yeah. The white yeah. eyes. Oh, I can do that. Hold on a second. I got uh, black hood. Go here. Oh, and also you've got. Wait. Yeah. This is the double thing the happening. The left one is France, in the in the okay, mountains this of is France. The mountains of France. And the right one is North Macedonia. And North Macedonia. Holy heck. That's intense. So let's see. And I said a lot of, um, a lot of these things are with weddings. It's because weddings. That's a wedding. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a it's a you know carnival marriage. Oh okay. Oh it's oh, the like event. the photo of Prague. Yeah, similar, but yeah. it's it. Those are two guys, but they're just yeah, they're the guys. character of the bride and the groom, because it's symbolizing rebirth. Oh, okay. And where is that one taken? That's uh, in the mountains of Slovenia. Okay. Yeah, where this one was shot. Where they're running after him. Oh, good so the, lord. So the That's tradition right. there is, the, is the, the horned characters chase the kids of the village and capture them. And oh my god, it's on, so on terrifying. Yeah. Wait, wait, where did you say this was? Thing? Slovenia? That's in, in the mountains of Slovenia. So they, yeah. they grab them, they will chase that. after them, and they and they um, they beat them with these, these uh, pouches of... Uh, you know, powder and stuff, and then you just, okay. you kind of just mess with them. All right, so like the equivalent of um, whatever that thing is, paintball. <laughs> I guess so. And then, for example, here, the left one is uh, Sardinia again. It's one of the muses. You know, with the it's the it's the character that that measures the string. Oh. Okay. Afidonzama in in okay. Sardinia, and the right one is um, yeah, Greece. Yeah, this is extraordinary. This. So for me, I'm starting to see the relationships of the images taken from different places. Okay, Sardinia and Greece. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that should be it for the moment. I think. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be wrapping Thanks up for here. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for yeah, it's great to sharing yeah. everything. Yeah, I'll stand up. Holy mackerel! So uh, that was fantastic. Yes. Voila. Check it out and invite some of those. Um, prince to come live at your house. I'm going to turn this around to say goodbye. My life's a little long goodbyes. I'll probably be short tonight. Um, here, we'll keep Jason in the picture, however. Thank you so much for showing up and um, 
Thank you, Jason. I didn't even realize how rich this was going to be. And I feel like that was just like the, a little, little like the, the, yeah, the little iceberg where there's like all that other stuff of why and how and practical, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, take it easy, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon when that happens. Bye.